right, here's a little demo of what happens when ESCs don't cooperate with these mini motors. It's always when you're picking up speed from uh, low RPM, if you really um, give it a, an abrupt full throttle, you can get it to do strange things. So full throttle. <laughs> Move up from here, I'll be okay. Oh, there you go. See, I click full throttle. You heard it chirp and hesitate. happens when it's down a low throttle. Now we're going to do an ESC change and see what happens. All right, now we're going to change that ESC. Old school, stick commands. So start off around halfway. Full throttle. Zero. Full throttle. Okay, that last triple sequence tells you you're in programming mode. Do 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 do. Now I'm in one one. I want to advance quickly. So I drop it down, I'll go into the second, third, Turn it up to full. I should be in ten one. That's ten two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, beep beep. Now we're coming to 10-3. And 10-4 is what I'm after. Next one. And then you drop it to zero. resets and now you'll just be in regular motor mode so we can put a prop on and test it the stabilizing foot check the uh, maximum uh, amperage on the other setting, but I guess I have it on video now, so we'll know whether or not this timing change has cost us any current or given us any, because it's the same battery, uh, no use in between. I'm giving it the 
same kind of flicks that I gave it the other time that would make it squeal. It's just going. Every time there's no hesitation, it never locks up. That's the one. Oh, the other thing I guess I should mention is when I've been playing around with the, uh, the different settings and timings, some of them actually sound really bad. Like, I thought I'd maybe uh, killed the bearings on this motor from all the testing because it was making a kind of grindy sound at low speed when it was set to, uh, I believe, high timing with mag on. But uh, the other nice thing about finding the right setting is that it seems to run smooth through most of the RPM range. Like, you probably can't hear it the way that I can right now, but uh, that's, that's the smoothest sound that this motor gives. Sounds good to me.